Hello. What do we have? Hello, hello. Crass Song, Soul Ran, Mr. Flipper, Mazers. Oh, yo, Clavier, hello. <laughs> Ham Kenobi, hello. Alec. How's everyone doing? Where's Cat? You haven't been in chat in a while. Don't have a cat anymore. Charger43, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. <laughs> nice flex with the jacket. Hell yeah. I don't wear this too often. Broke, you weren't even at the SoCal meetup. I didn't miss you though. Nice hoodie, do you have a Discord? Yeah, if you type in um, exclamation Discord, it should give you a link to my Discord, guys. <laughs> um, someone tagged me in something on Discord, speaking of. Oh, right. I need to VIP someone. Hold on. How's everyone's Wednesday going? Wait, how do I VIP someone now? Where are the roles at? Functional, hello. Uh, they changed. Oh, I see it. Moderation. What? No, this is not it. Where? Oh my gosh. Channel? Oh no, where's the... Where are the rolls? <laughs> I don't know his name, so if I type it in chat, his name doesn't pop out. But if I use the dashboard... Like the, it auto fills the name. Chamchi, thank you so much for the six months. It says unable to add VIP. What? Oh, okay, now that works. All right. I'm still learning the new dashboard. Do you have, no, I definitely have slots. I have slots for like a hundred VIPs or something. Um, XH Demon, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Gotta get back on that leaderboard. Ooh. Jay, hello, the new dashboard is nice, but a pain to get used to. Yeah, I mean, it's not a pain. It's just, I don't know where certain things are. Um, some things that used to be one click are like two clicks away now kind of annoying yeah my sis my team and sister team worked a lot on the new dashboard oh shoot don't bad mouth the new dashboard guys the new dashboard is amazing john wong thank you so much for the two months how am i doing i'm doing pretty good went to the gym today came home took care of some stuff yeah <laughs> criticism so um, I think it looks nicer. It definitely looks nicer. I think I just need a bit more time to get used to it. Like now, if I want to edit stream information, it's a two-click process. Whereas before, if I just clicked on my icon and then went to creator dashboard, it would take me straight to like my live dashboard feed where I could change my stream information. It tells me everything about like running an ad. But now I have to go to the new creator dashboard and then click edit stream in info. So that's kind of annoying. But yeah, I don't, I don't see any missing features. It's just kind of, I have to learn it. Yeah. Also, I don't like how we can't check 
who's following who anymore. I would like to know who is following who. Yeah. Type in the Konami code, you get more settings. Okay, buddy. Um, Philip, thank you so much for the bits. How did you get your feel space bar to sound like that? I'm not sure. Don't know what I did. I couldn't recreate it fully with all the other feel boards I've done. Um, some people think that that video is edited. It is not. I don't edit my audio. I have flipped that board a long time ago. So now it's in the hand of someone who uh, enjo is enjoying that keyboard. <laughs> I took it to the NorCal meetup. People heard it live in person. It's not fake, but I don't know what I did to it. There are literally 400 other people who have heard it in person. So, um, Ramuzona, thank you so much for the What did you think about my luck at the LA meetup? I won two of the art. You won twice? What? That's pretty rigged. Chortle, hello. All right. Um, before we get to the build, there was something I wanted to look at with chat. Bot pinged? Uh, oh, whoops, that is not what I meant. <laughs> when did the bot ping? Just now? 302? No, it's 310, all right. Hey Nathan, sorry you didn't get any bite on that thing I showed you, man. Huh? But, have you guys seen Cherry's latest post today? Hashtag MX Innovations. Dude, you, the comments are brutal. Innovation, sure, one of the worst clicking mechanisms of all time in history. Click bar has entered the chat. KO box has entered the chat. Oh, one person loves MX Blues. Cool switches, but super bad for rhythm games. Can't relate. Original doesn't mean better. We as customers want our keyboards to be good, not original. FFS, can you make better switches instead of spamming this original MX bullshit? <laughs> <coughs> That's true though. That's a very fair point. This is why I can't play at 2 a.m. KO click bars are better. For real, we don't want your trash campaign. Original MX and all, just give us what we want. New quality switches. The click will straight down? New mold when bad. <laughs> yeah. If you guys are having a bad day, just uh, go to Cherry's Instagram. And all these, uh, all this stuff, all their latest posts. <laughs> oh my gosh, key bio. I guess zero innovations since 1983 counts as innovations. <laughs> Um, Tonka Tonk, welcome back for 14 months. Oh, I met Tonka Tonk this weekend. <sighs> yeah, I don't know who's behind this campaigning, but it's pretty funny going through the comments. Instead of just saying your switches are the original, just make better switches that are companies are excelling in quality and feel for both cheaper and equally priced switches. For the pricey cost of your switches, people expect much better trailers switches for yourself and take notes. When you're in a hard gaming session and you bottom out the key, the fiber reinforced socket of our Cherry MX switches, take the force and protect your keyboard. What? 
Should I get halal pizza or McDonald's? Ooh, dude, halal guys, man. Or halal. We can get plenty of pizza and McDonald's when you come back, Sean. What kind of homeopathic science is this? The fiber reinforced socket of our Cherry MX switches take the force and protect your keyboard. Does someone say homeopath? Yeah. Emperor Zane, hello. Holy Stottle, just commented on your post a few hours ago to thank you guys for not uploading hashtag original MX stuff again, but I'm so dis disappointed when I saw this post. Why you, you guys don't make a better switch and stop with your original MX shit? Gatorons are better. Imagine bragging about bottom outs and making more noise. <laughs> okay, but my zeals are better. Stop that original MX nonsense. Just make better stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh, Kiwaya. Sorry, I prefer fake stuff. Like the spelling of fiber over fibra. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. The eight pillar guidance is a very important part of the top housing of our MX switches as it guides the stem when you press down the key. Thanks to minimal, minimal tolerances, we provide precise guidance for your exact key press. And I wonder why the enthusiast community switch films, cherry switches, when it's built with minimal tolerances. Interesting. Fire your marketing team. You sound like clowns. <laughs> Who is this guy? Justin W. Mackey. Then why the F are your switches so damn wobbly? Hashtag fake news. Gateron is better change my mind. You're just saying straight facts. The eight pillars on how to get scratchy switches. Kibaya, you're farming likes from the comments on these posts. <laughs> Still scratchy af even when thick lubing. Feels bad. Learn more via the bit.ly. Do they even change this bit.ly link? Do they all link to the same thing? Oh my gosh. Cherry MX are the best switches on the market. Who is this guy? Who is this Frenchman? Less players do demand. You're lying. Upper housing is a CAD high precision component made of plastic polymer with a tolerance of less than 0.0, .0 millimeters. The component guides. Okay. Data sheet, what's this? Oh, okay, don't need to see this. <sighs> All right, I'm feeling pretty good now. <laughs> wow, Cherry, be nice, bruv, for my very own clavier. This one was my favorite, perfect lubrication. Perfect lubrication. Just wow. My MX Browns feel scratchy though. Oh crap. Is it lewd with sand because it's scratchy F? No one cares, Cherry. Just take the L and know that other switches are better. Do you really even lube, bro? <laughs> Wait, this guy posted- Keybio posted it twice, please. Wait, they posted it three times. Wait, is this just repeating? Wait, what? Instagram, hello? It's literally repeating the three same... Okay. Is this the MX Instagram? Yeah, this is the Cherry MX Instagram. 
I just thought, uh, I saw that they posted before I went live. So, uh, because we're using Cherry MX Brown, so they thought I'd point it out. <clears throat> Often copied, never reached, yeah. All right. We have a uh, new keyboard we haven't seen on the channel yet. Finally got a client build of a Think 6.5 in. Whoa, it's Yi. Thank you so much for the raid. Whoa. What do you stream? It's Yi. So I haven't seen a Think 6.5 yet. I probably saw one at the meetup, but didn't spend too much time with it. So let's see how this is. So Gray Studio. Oh, what the heck happened here? Solder. Designed by Gray Studio. Why is the T green? <laughs> Customized keyboards and stream games on the keyboard building switch robin. Whoa! Thank you so much for the three months. You stream games and keyboard building and switch loading. Whoa. That's pretty cool. I'll try to check you out later. These guys have too much stuff going on. <laughs> What's their logo? They have this gray studio in all green. They have graystudio.club with a filled in green O. They have gray studio in white with a green line underneath. What is how? And then they have Gray Studio with a T that's green, capitalized G, while everything else is lowercase. What is their logo? I don't understand. Anyways, if that's the uh, logo, that's the branding they want to do. Up to them. It's their branding. Personally, don't agree with it, but I'm also not a I'm not a graphic designer or a brand expert by any means. Oh, whoa! Zach TDA, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Is this a sticker? Which logo do you want? Yes. <laughs> Holy crap! Why do I need so many? <laughs> what? Why'd they send me so much? Do all Gray Studio boards come with this many Allen wrenches? What? Could this one's completely different! This one has a green A. There's a green A version, there's a green T version, there's a filled in O version. What the heck is this? Um, it looks like it's all the same size. I don't know, I guess... I guess they're... Uh, I'm hoping there are not all different... It looks like there's two different sizes. I don't know. Collect all five logos to summon Exodia. <laughs> all right, got some O-rings. I forget what the mounting of this was. Maybe it's a burger mount, I don't know. Going to guess these are the feet. All right, we got six feet. We will need this. Oh wait, there's one, oh my gosh. Another one. What the heck is that light bulb? I think this is the weight that goes in on the bottom of the keyboard, if I remember correctly. So 
So, okay. There's a light bulb. Because you're a thinker, right? Light bulb represents thinking. Looks, looks okay. And it looks like they got a black badge. Holy crap, someone got, Philoop got timed out for 88, 882,000 seconds. <laughs> what happened? All right, think 6.5. So I think you could have customized your badges. So this is one of them. Okay, let's take a look at the case. Oh, don't over tighten screws. Okay. That badge is the worst part. Whoa, wait, is this poly? Whoa, this is so interesting. It has a very velvety finish. What the? Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is, this is the black polycarb, right? I can't. Black poly with glass powder, what? Yes, yeah, so I was told to uh, touch the finish because it's very interesting and I agree. This finish is unlike any other that I've felt on a keyboard so far. I didn't like this badge in renders. I don't like it in person too. <laughs> um, I don't know, people were very hyped about this board. I personally thought the badge looked not good. We'll see how it performs when we build it up. Oh, I didn't show off the back, huh? Wait, what? Where does this... Oh, okay. It's the back. Old cat and air potter. It's the bottom. Let's put on the feet first. This, uh, this piece sticks out quite a bit. Okay, it's, my camera can't focus, but I guess it doesn't matter if you put feet on it. But I would have liked, eh, I guess it gives it some depth if it sticks out like that. Did I buy GMK Dracula? I definitely did. Love that hoodie. Thank you. I think the hoodie's all right. Hey, Teha, is HHKP Pro to a good board and is it worth buying? Yes. Yes to both. How many mouse pads do you have? Too many. I don't know how to store it still. I literally just have it 
like stashed in a corner of my room, just stacked on top of each other. LT Yellow, thank you so much for the five months. Minus 2k, bye bye 2k points. All right, let us open this. Huh. 2.0? Yes. Daily minus 4k feels good, man. I wish I could throw my channel points out at y'all. I don't know, what do people do with channel points? I don't, I haven't come up with a good way to incentivize people to uh, collect points. Check what Beastroll does or what Lily, I saw what Lily does. I think you could like perch you could like um you could claim like a doodle. Oh they use two different screw sizes, come on. Take my points. Can I pay you points to drop my keyboard? Sure. Some people at 1 million points, you can perma-ban any mod. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, like the highlight messaging thing, it kind of defeats the purpose if everyone highlights their message and claims it all at once. If everyone's message is highlighted, no message is highlighted. Did I not undo this one? Why won't this come apart? How ho 1 million points, how hard is it to get 1 million points? Do these screws just not want to come out? What is going on? Definitely undid all the screws. more do I have to turn these? I've been coming every day for like solid two to three weeks and I'm barely at 26k. 26k, huh? See, that's so many points though, 26k. It still won't come off, what? Oh, there you go. Ah. Okay, so this has a gold badge. And then we can place this a black badge if we want. Pretty cool. This texture is so interesting. Okay. And then this PCB, what the? How is this? What is this? 
I just push this arm? Huh? Oh, there's screws. What? The fudge? Oh, neighbor's dog, please. What kind of, what do you call this mount? It has a 4.5 millimeter. I'm going to guess it's an integrated plate. It looks like it. And it's held together. And what is this screwing into the plate? <laughs> Trash mount, Soren says. I guess the screws don't matter. You're already typing on an integrated plate. It's not going to feel. No, well, actually, I've never tried a polycarbonate 4.5 millimeter integrated plate. This is the top piece. That's what the, uh, the bottom looks like there. It's got those clips so the switches can actually clip in. Um, that's where the screws were was holding the PCB to the plate. That's the badge. Throw it, destroy it. And then this PCB. Are these strips, are they purely decorational or is this functional? These outer strips, does it do anything? Or is it all for aesthetic purposes? Wait, you can't change badge after soldering? Oh, wait. No, you can, you can, you can. I have access to the screws here. <laughs> so you can unscrew, I'm, you unscrew here, and then you take off the badge from the top, and then you put it back in. <laughs> That'd be a pretty papega if you can't switch the badge after you solder it. <laughs> That's very uh, sad. All right. Wait, then what are all these O-rings for? I thought this was some I thought the thing 6.5 was gasket mount or something. But what are all these uh, bump, these uh, spacers for? For stabs? They didn't send me stabs. There's no stab in the... Okay. Sure. I'll take them. Driving down to drop off stabs now be there soon. Okay. Well, it seems odd that they would provide washers, but not the actual stab. I haven't seen a keyboard that does that so far. DG Eno Nino, thank you so much for the seven months. Hello, hello. I know because I sold my Think for TB Claws. Oh, did I run out of two U stabs? That's on the bottom. Okay, so I have free reign on this layout today. <laughs> I say we go full backspace, enter. 
Could it be for gasket? Gasketing what though? There's nothing to gasket on this. Do we go 625 or 7U on this one, guys? ISO? Um, this... Oh, it does support ISO. I could... No, I'm not going to go ISO. <laughs> I am not going to go ISO. This guy's almost tricked me. It's this 7U. Only ten dollars if you do ISO. Nah. Oh, these are all clipping. The Ollie Bowl, hello, hello. I need to harvest uh, housings. This is also seven. This is this action. Let's do that. What is MCG 129? It's a lube you can purchase off Marvel Keys. We need to hunt down Nathan. Why? Did I get GMK Rudy? Um, I haven't purchased it yet. We'll see if I do. Look through your YouTube and there doesn't seem to be any TXTKL keyboard builds. Any thoughts on those boards? Um, they're nice. Um, TX does good anno, good machining. Um, yeah, they're very solid boards. <sighs> Wait, Discord hoodie? Yeah, I've had this hoodie for a while. They uh, send out a hoodie, or so, yeah, once you get partner. Do you plan on getting GMKB? No, I did not. <laughs> Set is literally <laughs> smooth brain. I would rather use Handerbyte over GMKB. <laughs> Fight me. Those are fighting words. I would rather use Handerbyte over GMKB. What about GMK Dual Shot or Cat Eternal? Um, Dual Shot for me personally. Um, I'm not a fan of what's it called. I'm personally not a fan of. I guess, is that a vertical gradient? Like when it's just a gradient from top down. I personally. I have never seen a set yet that I personally like that has a gradient that just goes from top down. Oh 
I use it with Mr. Sleeves just to disrespect you. <laughs> do you? Did you like Dual Shot? It looks kind of ugly to me. I do like Dual Shot, but I mean, it's aesthetics, right? There's no absolute when it comes to aesthetics. Eternal is the only one I've liked so far. I usually agree about the vertical gradient. Yeah, I think Eternal is definitely one of the nicer gradient sets I've seen. For sure. But um, I just... doesn't resonate with me super hard. Yo, Gandalf, hello. How are you doing? <sighs> GMKB, more like GMK best. Okay, buddy. Okay, good man. Just busy at work. Nice. Same. I'm busy at work right now. Aesthetics may be a preference, but I think we can all agree Teha is a cutie. Okay, AE designer. AE signer. Nice band. I finished up some functions so I can watch for a bit. Nice. Do you like the colors of Cat Eternals? If you could change the color scheme, what would you change it to? Um, I'm personally not a big fan of purple, so that's one of the reasons why Cat Eternal doesn't resonate with me. I'm just not a big purple person. <sighs> we'll be sick if we could make custom mic and custom IEMs, like make them at home and shit like you do a key. Um, it's definitely doable. I just have zero knowledge of that space. Um, also can't afford to go into that hobby while being into keyboards at the same time. Yeah. I know, I know a couple people in the keyboard hobby who like do DIY audio, it's pretty cool. <clears throat> One thing I do want to get into, I want to get into like building fight sticks. I feel like that's another thing that I would be interested in. Especially with uh, the League fight stick. The fight fighting game coming out in the future. Be pretty cool to like build fight sticks. But I, I currently don't have knowledge of it, but I know someone who's very... I know someone who's uh, very knowledgeable of it, so I might try to learn from them. Yeah. <sighs> Finally caught your stream. First time you're a big fan of your YouTube channel. I built my own fight stick. Ooh. Hello, hello. They're far less complicated to build. Oh, for sure. I mean, I don't know why they're so big. I, I, if I remember correctly, like the internals don't take up all that space inside the fight stick. They're just really big, right? The internals aren't too difficult as far as I know. It's so it can rest on your lap. Ah, I see. Yeah, but even, even for fight stick, um, you just need basic soldering knowledge. Just have to uh, figure out what parts. So I heard fight sticks, the fighting community also kind of operate on like a, a group by basis. And it's like community driven. Um, there's, like there's like certain people who want something done or made. And then people will join a group by fort essentially. And then build it up. But yeah, I heard the waiting game is also real for fight stick parts. <clears throat> Strat Super, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime setup. There are fight sticks I use mechanical switches. Yeah, for sure. Definitely know about that. Oh, 
A lot of people and interested in a hitbox style fight stick, which is all just buttons. <laughs> Yo, Sean. Thank you so much for the 11 months. Um, fight stick, just a joystick. I think they're different. If I just Google fight stick. Uh, this is what I mean by a fight stick. These are called fight sticks, right? Like this here. This is a fight stick. Like stuff like this. Yeah, I know a couple people who like build them. And they're like decently known according to them, so. Yeah. Would like to get into it. Fight Stick, it's Mad Stick's brand name for Arcade Stick. I don't know who Mad Cats is. Allfightsticks.com? What's this? Wait, there's an allfightsticks.com and then allfightsticks, a user, is in chat. Whoa. Alright, let's look at this. Oh, what the... Uh, doesn't look that bad. I mean, in terms of actual soldering, this is way less than a keyboard. I wonder if I have to do SMD stuff on this. It looks like mostly just cable management. <laughs> I'm not sure if this already comes pre-assembled or I have to also solder this part, but yeah, it seems easier than keyboard building. You don't have to solder, it all plugs in? What? That stick actually requires zero soldering. The PCB comes with headers pre-soldered and you use pre-made wiring harnesses. Wait, so then why are there fight stick builders? If you can just, if you don't have to solder, isn't it just Lego at that point? Is if, are the fight stick assemblers just for like people who want super custom stuff? Because the button difference. I'm going to guess it's because of custom parts, yeah. Fight stick builders just make the enclosures, I think. Nathan, <laughs> didn't you build a hot swap? I think I've built multiple hot swap boards for others on stream. I think I've built at least two hot swap client boards. Oh my gosh, why are the dogs so noisy today? Yeah, it's really straightforward, but a lot of people don't want to deal with the hassle. I see. Did you see the mech market post for the guy who was offering build services for hot swap only? I did. I don't remember the name, but I do I do know what post you're talking about. Yes. I'm not exactly sure what he was offering. I guess stab tuning? I don't know. Like, do you really need a build service for hot swap? How does that work? You s essentially send him parts, I think, and he'll just put the switches in for you. Um, install the stabilizers. I'm going to guess he was going to tune the stabs. And then that's it. And he ships it back. I recently subbed on YouTube. Where would you recommend getting desk pads? Check out all of my sponsors. I get all my desk mats from my sponsors. Sup, so Nathan just woke up from a post final nap. Ooh. That must feel good. Basically, what I did for Beast Troll? Yeah. But see, for Bistro, I did it for free. I mean, he paid for the parts, but I did that for free.
Looking forward of you making a build for me in the future. Ooh. Yeah, I... I said I was going to open up commissions after the SoCal meetup, but um, I've had a couple builds come in. Um, sponsored builds or in waitlisted builds that came in, so... Um, I might open up before the end of the year, we'll see. We shall see. Please send me positive vibes for my final Koguma Ube. Oh, Koguma, hello. I hope you, hope you ace your final, Koguma. You let me win that CSGO game, so I'll give you positive vibes. If you had beat me that game though, I would have, I would have uh, wished bad luck upon you. You will only build another oh sh ten key calls. Don't worry, guys. I should uh, enter the Guinness World Book of Records, huh? Man who's built the most key cult boards, most retail production key cult boards. I think I've built more production boards than key cult has, because whatever key cult build, they are technically pre-production or prototypes. Wait, Browns? Yes, Browns are going to be the new wave of 2020. Why do you think Cherry is prepping all this original MX often copied, never reached marketing? Because they're going to bring back Cherry MX Browns. They're gonna release Cherry MX Brown V2s, Cherry MX Blues V2s, Cherry MX Black V2s. They're going to be ultra smooth no wobble that's what they're trying to do right now i wonder how many fake key cults are being made in china who knows often copied never reached levels of scratchiness The blacks are as good as the early retold ones, that'll be nice. Yeah. That's honestly all I want from Cherry. If nice retold blacks are nice. And they can just maintain that smoothness across other switches. That's all I want, to be honest. I mean, if they can go beyond that, that would be amazing. How about them UHM P E W E R W? Who was it? Who got them at the meetup? I got some at the meetup. Um, oh, I put it away. But yeah, I got a. Uh, I got some. Um, Eric's was actually, he had them at the meetup too. You could have purchased it from him, I think. Eric's, one of the three members running keyboard, keyboard treehouse, I think that's the, Eric's, the guy behind the Aegis and the EXT. He was there selling batches. Yeah. UHM wipe stems. <laughs> UHMWPER8. Oh my gosh.
even smoother than your coffee brewing. <laughs> is this a commission build? Yes, this is for most builds on stream are client commissions. I have a couple personal boards I need to build, but uh, probably won't get to it until the end of the year, if at all. I don't know, should I just sell all my unbuilt keyboards? Buy more camera gear? What lube is that you're using? I'm using Crytox 205 Grade Zero. I missed out on your ghetto ass pour over. I saw the Instagram story, saw it posted. It was pretty ghetto. Cartoon, hello. If you have a cue, give me. I do have a cue. I have. No, I won't say. I'll, let's just say I have more than one cue sitting in my house right now. Thanks, you're holding on to mine. <laughs> no fillets, not interested. I heard the maker of the Q got banned from Mech Market. <laughs> also, we broke. We broke 40k followers on Twitch yesterday. Whoa! Any quick tips on how you are doing it? You do upgrade instead of dielectric grease like your video. Booty clap. Thank you so much for the tip. Uh, any tips? Uh, not really. Just um, just try out a couple stabs yourself until you figure out the amount that works for you. Um, in terms of where you apply the lube, it's the same places as my old tutorial. I'm just using a different material. Um, yeah, just apply it to the same places. Um, start off with a little bit and then keep adding more if you don't like it. And then you'll get the uh, you'll get the hang of it and the feel for how much you like on your boards. Yeah. What's your address asking for a friend? When's my birthday? My birthday is March 16th. But yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, we hit we broke 40k on Twitch yesterday. We broke 69k on YouTube yesterday as well. That's pretty cool. I think, I think at 50k I'll have another subathon. It's been a while since I've done a 24 plus hour stream. You're not gonna celebrate 69k? No, who celebrates 69k? My like reach goal this year was to break 100k, but we're not too far off. I mean, we are far off, but I think we went closer than I expected. Another 6.5, yes. Well, this isn't the E6.5, this is the Think 6.5. Two different boards. They just both happen to have six fives in it. Man, I'm using KCGA on Subathon. What is that? Key Cult Guardian's Angel? What? 
Man, I'm using split back and I'm having trouble adjusting. Yeah, it takes a while. Depends on the person too. We need novel key sponsoring 69 keys. <laughs> All right. More CSGO content? Yeah, I think we could probably play some CS today. Assuming nothing goes wrong with this build, it shouldn't take too long. Key called giveaway, oh! I see. Um, I will ask Keycult if they would like to donate a keyboard for a giveaway in celebration. This is the one stream I get to watch in like months. Yeah, Sean, you've been gone. Dizzy is back as content. Yeah, I was watching him before the stream actually. I was watching him before I went live. Can we raid someone today? What? I always raid someone. I might actually get to play today. Isn't it pretty late for you right now, Mazur, still? Today wasn't an... Is it EU friendly right now? Tried for key call 165, 160, no love. So many people entered. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Did Key Cult release numbers? I forget. Did they release numbers for how many of each entered? Yeah, but his sleep schedule is like EST. Oh, true. Sorry to bother you, but TKL keyboard would recommend for someone to get started with modding. Just for changing switches, etc. I love rewatching your build because I always miss them here in you. A half a year down, half to go. Beck, ass. Thank you so much for the two dollar tip. What TKL keyboard would you recommend for someone looking to get? Um, if you're just trying to change switches, you're probably looking for hot swap. Um, for hot swap TKLs, probably the Drop Control or the GMMK. They both have hot swap. Um, you could. Get a Rama U80 if you want, whenever that ships out. It's uh, very pricey for a starting board, but that's another option if you don't care about money. Dixel, thank you so much for the six months. What does breaking in switches do? Um, so when you get switches straight from the factory, there's a lot of imperfections in the plastic. It's not, there's like bumps and micro, micro bumps and whatnot. So breaking in just means you're using the switch a little bit. So all those bumps and abrasions get uh, smoothened out with use because you're just um, rubbing the plastics against each other and causing friction. So that's what breaking in does. It makes the switches smoother. Um, obviously, the more optimal your condition is when you lube it, the better it'll turn out in the end. So that's why some people break in or recommend breaking in. Okay, I finished that. You guys ready for Browns? Just let you know that we do the super to pay to up into five sticks. Whenever a popular enthusiast takes in trust in a new hobby, it's exciting not only because you yourself might solve existing problems, but also the community will bring along. Das? The Sony, what? The Sony, my fridge. Thank you so much for the tip. 
Whenever a popular enthusiast takes interest in a new hobby, it's exciting not only because you yourself might solve existing problems, but also the community being... I don't know if you want the keyboard community to get into fight sticks. You, you, you gotta be careful what you wish for there. I'm just kidding. Raymond, hello! What temperature do you brew your coffee at? So I know hardcore enthusiasts say you should brew uh, different like types of beans and roasts at different temperatures. I haven't gone that far yet. I just do everything at 196 degrees Fahrenheit. Got purple trash pandas and I really like them. Worth it. Further invest and make holy pandas. Um, I haven't personally tried purple <coughs> pandas myself yet. Can't really say. Prof McDougal, hello. What's your thoughts on the Cygnus controversy? <laughs> Keck W is all I have to say. Um, you are looking mighty cute there. <laughs> Yo, Kioni, thank you so much for the two dollar tip. I I think we're gonna start seeing a lot of cases like this. Um, the the keyboard hobby right now it's in a very interesting state. I want to say it's like getting a lot of attention. Um, not a lot of people know about it. So I think a lot of newcomers are going to see this as an opportunity, um, you know, to make something out of it. It's like something new that no one knows about yet. So there's definitely going to be people interested. Um, and I think people are going to jump in very quickly without knowing, without knowing how things work. Um, a lot of the current designers, designers in the community and people who are like putting out all these ideas. Most of them haven't dealt with actual manufacturing or how to run a business. I'm not saying I'm qualified. I don't know how to run a business. I'm learning as I go too. This is all new to me. But I think the keyboard hobby is one of those. It's interesting because it requires learning about manufacturing processes which you don't really learn about until you actually do it yourself or you interact with people who have done it. So the, the keyboard hobby is interesting in that, you know, you get exposed to like working with China or like working with manufacturers in the States or something. Like you learn about the manufacturing process and it's not as easy as it seems. Like coming up with a design, that's the easy part getting it produced, getting it shipped, marketing it, that's completely different. <laughs> that's the hard part. Leave me alone. Wait, what, what happened? Nathan can think, please. What happened? Um, so like, like for those of you guys who don't know about the Cygnus controversy, um, it has many layers to it. I probably won't go into all the layers. But like the first thing, they were advertising under a website domain that they didn't even own? Like what? <laughs> Come on. That's not even... That's not even like knowing how to run a business. That's just... Common sense. That's like saying if I came up with Teha Types but I didn't own the YouTube channel Teha Types or like the website tehatypes.com or whatever. They're just like, yeah. And then from there, it just kind of spiraled downhill. 
Um, and yeah, I think that's the case of someone jumping in way too quickly without having a clue what to do. And then now they're just stuck in this hole that they have to climb out of, which is very hard. Um, but I think the way they're going about trying to climb out of the hole, it's not very good. And they're just causing, they're just digging the hole deeper for themselves instead of trying to climb out. Yeah. Do you guys think they will ever get their money back? I aren't think that. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and say that they are not lying when they're saying Square took control of their money and they don't have access to it for 90 days. But yeah, it's too soon to speak. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt on that. It hasn't been 90 days yet. We'll see what happens after the 90 days are over. Yeah. But I, I think that's one of the that's one of the nice things about being in the keyboard hobby. Like because I've been like learning up on like factories and like how people go through this whole process of getting things manufactured. Like it makes me appreciate people who do it for a living. Like the people who make and sell the products that you just kind of buy without even thinking about and just, just you just take it for granted. Like once you know what it takes to manufacture goods and sell it, it's like, you know, it's not as easy as it, think, as it seems. Like even the people selling like, like the cheap $1 plastic items you can get from Daiso. Like you think in your head, oh, it's $1. They're, it's probably super cheap to make. They're probably making a bank off it. But it's, it's not as easy as it seems. And like to get to the level of like Daiso where they can fulfill that, it's, it's pretty hard. Yo, duck boy, hello, hello. All right, the stabs are all good. Let us start soldering. Yeah, and I don't, I don't want to reveal too much, but um, let's just say I have a future upcoming YouTube video that goes a bit in depth about this that I am hoping to put out before the end of the year. Uh, we'll see. But yes, I've already started to work on some videos to put out. I think, I think the one that I have in mind is going to be very good. I still don't know what happened with Cygnus, just something about a domain and digging holes. No, so what I, what I touched is like just the surface. Um, if you want a better idea, go read the, the Geek Hack Goodbye page. The interest check page for Cygnus. So it's a read. Just making an educated guess. Uh, what? <clears throat> Am I going to replace the badge? Uh, I'm going to leave that up to the client. I kind of like the the gold accent against this all black. Fear my arsenal. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Not, not the group by page. I think it's the interest check that's more involved. I could be wrong. Antics, thank you so much for the $5 tip. It's 
still happy with the UEs? Yeah, pretty happy. How do you like them for carrying footsteps? Um, I haven't had any trouble with it while playing CSGO. Pretty accurate. No complaints so far. The sky is 256k. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Um, khaki hat, thank you so much for the bits. Do you have any plans for those new inverse stems? Yeah, I'm probably going to put them in some cherry housings. Um, I've got a batch of mediocre retold blacks. And loop it up, see how it sounds. I put a stem in a single cherry black housing and it felt pretty smooth already. I'm curious as to how it sounds. All the drama also makes me more thankful for good group by runners. Like Upas is dope as a group by runner. Went in for both Satisfaction 75 and Chimera in part because he's as trustworthy as it is. So that's, yeah, that's like another thing, right? With all these newer people coming up, running into issues, it makes you appreciate people who know what they're doing. Like, and like people who have delivered, actually. It's interesting. Or even, even same with like builders. Like there's a bunch of new builders coming out. I'm not saying any of them have like messed up, but I've definitely seen some builds that are like, uh, I like, I could point stuff out that I wouldn't have done myself. Makes me look good. How do you decide where to put the switches in? Does it matter? Well, so for the alphas, they can only go in one way. But for sort of stuff like the bottom row or like this, um, it depends on what layout you're going for. I'm a new builder. <laughs> Emperor is saying I'm back with steak. Ooh, steak sounds pretty good. Do we go stepped or normal caps chat? I just want thermal and M65B already. Stepped caps always. Wow. A lot of my chat likes stepped caps. Aesthetics? I don't know. I never personally found stepped caps to be more aesthetic than normal caps. What's the difference? Ooh, let us educate Emperor Zane. I know he's new. Where's my stepped caps? So this is a normal caps lock, right? Um, this is a stepped caps lock. So it's the same size, but the difference is this cut out. Oh. The difference is this cut out. So the functional, the functional benefit of a stepped caps lock is that 
let's say you have stepped caps lock, right? Um, because, because the switch now sits closer to the edge of the board, it's mounted like this. Um, it's harder to accidentally trigger caps lock. Like let's say you mistype your A and you're a little bit to the left. Because it's stepped here, um, there's a less chance that you'll accidentally trigger caps lock. That's one of the functional benefits for it. But I, per I don't use caps lock all that much. Like I would oftentimes remap it to control. So that's why functionally I prefer to have it like this. Um, aesthetically, I don't really have a preference. So, but yeah. I use caps so much. What do you use caps lock for? Emperor Zing. Don't tell me you use caps lock to capitalize. For yelling at people? Okay. Want to start drama? How do you want to start drama, Soran? We will show you after stream. <laughs> Garsha, thank you so much for the tier one sub. I have never willingly activated caps lock for as long as I can remember. <laughs> Yeah, like even if I need to type out a sentence in all caps, I will just hold down shift. And I've never had the need to like type a paragraph or more in caps. So I, I literally never use caps lock. Oh, the only time I use caps lock is if there's indicator lights and I want that light on. That's when I willingly activate caps lock. So I still program caps lock in, but it's usually always on a secondary layer. Gotta head out, have a good one. Garsha, thank you for stopping by. Oh, Blotsky, hello. But if you've remapped caps lock to control, what is your control mapped to? Um, so it depends. So on a, on a win keyless build like this, this is my control, this is my windows key, and this is alt. But let's say it wasn't win keyless, I would just have two controls. And then I could use this if I want, or this, depending on whatever my muscle memory felt like triggering. Where's caps lock? I just have caps lock um, as a secondary layer here. I could use a control as caps lock and have a secondary use for caps. Mr. Corey, welcome back for four months. Hope your finals went well. Let me just confirm this bottom row. Is alt even useful for anything? Yeah, when you alt tab. Dude, I alt tab so many times. Do you not alt tab? When you press alt to jump in Maple Star, <laughs> what? All right, we got the bottom row. Thank. Switching out porn at work. You like to live life on the edge. If you're doing that at work. <laughs> I think 6.5 is a really old group buy. 
uh, I wouldn't say really old. It happened during the later half of this year, I think. Oh yes, I think I think it took I think it's shipped. It's been shipped for a while now. You're way too beautiful. What? Did I join E8.5? I did not. Where'd I put my solder this time? <clears throat> oh. Okay. Let us start. Soldering. Does the absorber really absorb smoke? Yes. Will I die if I don't have one? Also, yes. I'm just kidding, no. Um, you won't die. Maybe your lifespan might be cut short. Uh, it really depends on how sensitive you are. Also, what kind of lead you use, or what kind of solder you use. Um, if you use leaded solder, uh, definitely get one. If you use unleaded solder, um, doesn't hurt to be safe. Alright. I use leaded solder and just open a window. Yeah, you just need some kind of ventilation. Okay. I've got a couple sponsors. I would like to recognize. Oh, is there nothing here? Oh, there is nothing here. The first sponsor we have is Dixie Man. Head on over to dixiemac.com slash Teha Types. GMK Dual Shot is still alive. You can also purchase Teha Type stickers, um, keyboard merch, um, desk mats, Pelican cases to protect your keyboards. When you travel, you can even get Dixie Mech gift cards for your loved ones if you want. Christmas is coming soon, guys. The next sponsor we have is Drop. Head on over to drop.com. They've got some keyboard products you can purchase. Um, I think GMK Red Sam is still available for purchase on Drop. Right? Um, Nautilus Nightmares also currently live on Drop. Support the man zombie mark. Um, a lot of Drop products. I feel like pretty good Christmas presents as well. If you guys are still looking for Christmas presents to give. The next sponsor we have is KBD Fans. Head on over to KBD Fans. If you guys are looking to uh, start off keyboard building or just a hobby in general, KBD Fans is a great way to start. I just realized we didn't check if this PCB worked or not. It's okay. I think it works. If it doesn't work, oh well. No one pointed it out that we didn't check the PCB today. <laughs> uh, the next sponsor we have is Keycult. Head on over to keycult.io, join their newsletter. Because um, they've got lots of 
keyboards for sale coming up. It's a pretty cool color release. <laughs> it's late for me. Too late. Gotta go. Sorry, I have a good night. The next sponsor we have is Kono. Head on over to Kono.store. I think they're having some kind of giveaway. I saw an email today. So yeah, if you guys like giveaways, consider joining the one that Kono is currently holding. They've got tons of keyboards and keycaps that you can purchase or join pre-orders for. Them. The next sponsor we have is Novel Keys. Head on over to novelkeys.xyz. Uh, you can currently purchase Olivia Plus Plus, Teha Type Stickers, Switches, like Cherry MX Browns, amongst other things, desk mats, keyboard merch, all available on novelkeys.xyz. I have a discount code. If you use discount code MKSpace Types at checkout, it gets you 5% off in stock items. Next, we have Prime Keyboards. Head on over to primekb.com. Um, why is Lucas taking so much for six months? They're currently selling alpaca linears as well as stabs that shouldn't be scratchy. Unlike cherry stabs that are having issues right now. The next sponsor we have is SwitchMod. Head on over to switchmod.net slash Pipes. Gets you 4% off if you use my affiliate link. That's where I get all of my lubes from. I use Crytox 205 Grade 0 for my stabilizers. And I recommend all your lubes for switch lubing. Whoa, Louie. So much for gifting a sub. Your first sub gift. Thank you, thank you. And last but not least, we have zopc.net slash Teha Types. Where you can get some fancy switches like Helios, Zelios, Zelios, Helios. Did I say Helios? Helios? Yeah as well as some fancy stabilizers as well. Consider using my affiliate link. Question. Do you guys like the sponsor segment? Do you think my sponsor segment is too long? Should I even have a sponsor segment? Um, I'm I'm going to redo sponsorships next year. Um, I'm trying to come up with a plan. I like it. Actually, Matt helped with building my key. It helps find new people. It fills time and it's not annoying. Alright, I guess a lot of people like sponsor the sponsor segment. So do it. If you guys are in my Discord, by the way, um, on my server, I have a announcement channel you can follow and subscribe to called Sponsor News, where my sponsors will post their updates that, that they have, and then it'll also just naturally appear on your server every time they post. If you guys want, consider subscribing to the Sponsor News channel on my Discord as well as my announcements channel if you want to stay up to date with 
whatever announcements are correct. <clears throat> And of course, don't forget Teha Snipes. Please consider subscribing to Teha Snipes. I have to hit 1,000 subscribers on Teha Snipes so I can ask for a sponsorship from Novel Keys and Dixie Mac and all the other sponsors, you know what I'm saying? It's hard being a Harping a gamer. Now, now I gotta go find all these, all these people, and then ask for free stuff. I feel all these Fortnite kids who message me now. 150 views from 2K on the video. Ooh. How often do you get messaged by a random YouTuber asking to make them a board for free? Oh, all the time. It's kind of died down lately, but it's pretty bad. I get so many... How many likes for a free keyboard? I'm like, what? Is that a thing? Selling your likes? I could literally care less about one additional like on my Instagram post. Who, who in their right mind trades likes for physical products? And like, what's to stop them from unliking my post afterwards? Likes aren't permanent. You can unlike things and take them back. Couldn't care less. Sorry, Pluto. English is my second language. Clout chasers? It's not even clout though. They're literally kids with like 200 followers and they think they're famous or something. Oh, and all, and all these like esports e uh, clans coming up with like no following I've literally never heard of them they try to come off as like the next big esports organization or something I'm just like come on man what a Sony a6500 be getting worth be worth getting over an A6000 if I was planning to use it as a webcam. Um, if your primary purpose is to use it as a webcam, I think yes. Um, I'm not sure if the firmware updates fix the autofocus issues with the A6000. I know if you I know like an A6 1200 is good enough with the autofocus. I think the A6000 might be too old. Uh, I mean, the image quality will still be fine, but if I remember correctly, the autofocus had some issues. 
But also, if you're using it for a webcam, assuming it's for your face, uh, you won't be moving around too much for the autofocus to really matter. Um, I, I will say you don't need a A6500. I say go for something cheaper like the A6300, 6200, 6400. Maybe step above A6000 though. All right, one of these had their pen spent. A6500 is old and has like Ibis, yeah. A6000 is great if you're just gonna use a webcam. Go A6500 if you want to do video work. Personally, I think soldering time is the most relaxing part of the stream. Really? You don't need C200 though? That's true, Janky Render. That is true. But it's just the tech nerd in me. Okay. Um, I think I finished soldering. Let's see how straight this is. Hundred rats, thank you so much for the bits. Sorry if I said that already. <coughs> How does it feel knowing you're a big, if not the biggest name in the custom keyboard scene? <laughs> uh, is that true? I don't know if that's true. Is that true? Technically, Random Frank P is also now in the scene. Same with Brandon Taylor, Bad C Tech. Is hard work Canucks, are they considered in the scene? I'm much smaller than all of them. Uh, it's a weird feeling still. I'm still not used to it. Like, like when people come up to me and ask for photos. Uh, I'm not used to it. I still feel really awkward. <laughs> but I'm glad that people are enjoying what I do and that it's helping people out. Yeah, I'm, I'm, in, I'm glad I can do that while doing something that I enjoy. I think that's what I really like. And like I'm coming to uh, understand it and embrace it. I never thought I'd be in such a position, but now that I am, I've been trying to take ownership of it as well. Um, it's been fun. Yeah, like I, I've said this before, when I first started off with keyboard stuff, I didn't intend to cater to like the newcomers or like the crowd I am now. I would say the majority of my crowd right now are all newcomers who are like looking to dip their feet into the hobby. That was never my goal. <laughs> Nachos, thank you so much for the two months. Like when I first started off Teha Types, I wanted to be like, like a chant, like a, I don't want to say elitist channel, but like a channel like super hardcore enthusiasts would come to, like not the typical average consumer, but like, like the next step above that. But I think, I think there, uh, there is a need for people to look out for the newcomers. Yeah, I don't think anyone really caters to newcomers right now, as much as I do. I've definitely pivoted to that. 
When you first started your channel, I was like, wow, this guy's got to get a big ego in no time. And I was right. Please. Our custom keyboards is a Twitch channel. Yeah, so yeah, th that's a good that's a good analogy, Mazers. So I wanted to be a channel that caters to our custom keyboards, but I think it's accurate to say I cater to our mechanical keyboards, probably. Um, I, I shared this with my mod team, but I think I think my Discord server has pretty much become like the new R Mech Keys Discord server. We're like what our mech keys should be right now with like actual moderation and like actual uh yeah with like actual moderation and like actual keyboard discussion that like caters to younger like not younger but like newer folks yeah and like there was just a need for it i filled it and i've been enjoying it so far All right. Let's see how straight stepped caps is. Oh, very straight. Left shift also pretty straight. Bottom row, pretty straight. You got me into this community and introduced me to the hobby I didn't even know existed. Yeah, I think that's most people. Your Discord is so big now, it's a bit hectic. Yeah, definitely. I didn't envision my Discord to get that big. I don't know how I feel about having a Discord too. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Having a Discord that big. I don't know, maybe I'll just make Discord like a Patreon thing. You gotta pay to be in Discord or something. All right, right side actually looks straight too. I guess this is the OP-ness of integrated plate. Pretty straight. It could be a sub-only thing. Yeah, I could, I could make my Discord sub-only. The, uh, the Twitch integration with Discord is pretty nice when it comes to handling roles. I might if it gets too big and like out of hand. Like I, I don't want to be a 10,000 member Discord. <laughs> it's too much. Like if, if it ever gets that big, I'm, uh, I'm glad people want to join, but I just don't want to deal with that. <laughs> I don't want to put that on my mods either, <laughs> having to manage such a thing. It's a lot. All right, moment of truth. Does this work? Oh, LEDs work. Used to be in a 6K member Discord server. I think my Discord is over 6K. I'm pretty sure it's over 6K. I am in Discord and I only see announcement. Ah, this is Jordan. Ah, everyone make fun of this is Jordan. This man has not read the welcome rules. If all you see is announcements, you have been missing out this whole time, my friend. Imagine just being stuck on the announcements page this whole time. Is this the F key? Yes. Um, you'd be surprised how many people are stuck on the announcements page, actually. <laughs> I think my mod knows. My mods know, but yeah. I'll quit school to be your full-time mod man. Better feature anyways. Please. Discord has not yet set my role to Twitch sub yet. Are you sure you connected your Twitch to Discord? Alright, I'm going to go wash my hands. I'll be back.
camera just move again? All right. You didn't scroll. What do you mean? I was gone for like a good two minutes. What IEMs do you use? You can type in exclamation IEMs. How does the MTG 120 are different from Crytox? Um, MTG 129, the consistency is different, I wanna say. You can, it's also a lot more forgiving. Like you can literally dunk your switch and the MCG line of lubes and it'll feel way less over lubed than if you had gone with Crytox or Trubosis. Um, I personally think Crytox and Trubosis lubes feel nicer but some people like MCG for that reason. actually change this to black chat do we change the, the weights to black vote yes or no while I clean up a little bit Yes. All right. Guess we are changing this. Why are you using this particular key set as a tester? Oh, so there's the gold block. Um, So GMK Hyperfuse, I bought this second hand. And it came shipped in a Ziploc bag. I keep my GMK trays. So it's just easier to grab the switches from this bag than bringing up a GMK uh, tray every time. So that's why it's just kind of become my channel thing. I use GMK Hyperfuse to uh, test. Ooh, you guys like that better? The all black. I'm pretty sure the majority of people said no there. Wait, you guys lied. I swear I voted towards yes. Are you guys lying? All right, revote. After seeing this, do we keep, do we keep the black? Yes or no? Keep the black? Yes or no? The bot only understands yes or no. You can't type other stuff in it if you're trying to make your vote count. All right, you guys want me to keep the black? Okay, I will keep the black. All right, do I swap this out? Do we swap this gold out for the black? Vote now in chat. Swap it out to black, yes or no? Swap it out to black, yes or no? <sighs> I 
Whoa, QT Cinderella, hello. The gold is a nice accent. Ooh, looks like chat doesn't want this. All right. Looks like we won't be using this then. Let's wrap this up. <clears throat> okay, let us assemble this back then. Needs a little accent somewhere. <laughs> so you're gonna put the little accent in the part you never see? Wait. No, 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 hold on. I need to screw the PCB down first. I'm always lurking, big fan. Whoa, I didn't know that, QT. Um, I know I haven't responded to your DM, but I will... I have you in my mind. I will message you when I free up QT Cinderella. I I don't think I responded, but it's because I didn't have an answer. <laughs> but I I do know I do have you in my mind. Yeah, this year's been a bit busy for me. Why don't they put the full badge on the back and only the bottom part? Not sure. I mean, I didn't make this keyboard. This is a keyboard by exclusive. I didn't design this, so. Do you mind when I ask setup questions? Yeah, I hate you, Keone. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I don't mind. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um. They put two other screws. Okay, there's one down here. I need to know the size of that desk. Um, the desk I have is a 72 inch by 30 inch. It's the size of my desk. What do you use to remap keys? Um, it depends on the PCB. Different PCBs use different softwares. Um, if it's If you're building a custom PCB, or if you're building a custom keyboard, like the ones on my stream, there's a high chance um, you can use QMK on it, but other big remapping softwares are Jigon, Bootmapper Client, and then a slew of proprietary software. It's okay, I turned on notifications on your tweets and it says I will know when you open up again. Okay. <laughs> do you do you already like have a have in mind what you want, Cinderella? Noob question, what is via? Uh via uh, you could think of it essentially as a nice front-end interface to QMK. But it also has an interesting feature um, in the sense that if, it, if, you're, if VIA recognizes your uh, PCB, there's no need to uh, manually put it into boot map, uh, bootloader mode and then flash in a layout. If your PCB is VIA compatible, you plug your keyboard in, you open up VIA, and you can automatically just start switching and remapping your keyboard without having to go through the QMK toolbox and all that. That makes sense. What headphones are you wearing? I have a command, exclamation IEMs. Kind of, but I'm but so open to your expertise. I'm happy with just trusting you with the direction. Oof. That's a lot of uh, 
responsibility. But yeah, I will definitely let you know. How to open that one. Are you getting one for yourself? Or is it as a gift for someone? Is it a gift for your boyfriend? Okay, keyboard is done. We don't need to choose keycaps today because I was sent one to use. Jajan, GMK nines. Finally get to see what nines looks like. Ooh. Oh. Okay, do we use these accent keys, chat? Yes or no? Do we use the accent keys? Soran, I thought you went to sleep. All right, chat said no accents. The majority of chat. So it looks like we're not going accents. Gift? Not for Christmas though, or just because gift? All right. I think I know who it's a gift for. Unless I unless I'm wrong. Actually? Oh maybe I don't know. I want to know who you think. Do you want me to say the name? What if that person is also watching me? Is the person the is the person you want to gift it to watch me? Do you know that? Because if yes, then I think I know who it is. If no, maybe I don't. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Do you ship your keyboards to Italy? Yes, as long as you pay for shipping. <laughs> um, where are stepped caps? Okay. Is that caps upside down? It's not upside down. I don't know. I'm in mobile. Hopefully they aren't watching, but I know they are a big fan of your work. Like literally talk about your work all the time. All right. I'm going to check if they are in my chat right now. Uh... Oh, I don't see them in chat. All right, so I'm gonna say it. Is the person you want to gift it to, QT Cinderella? Is it Ludwig? I'm gonna say it, Pastia. And 
Ramu Zona, thank you so much for 50, 15 bits. Do you need to code in an MX lock switch? Uh, what? Oh, into QMK? I'm not sure actually. I have never built a board with an MX lock switch. Just cannot confirm or deny that. <clears throat> Wait, where's the wind? Oh, code. Teyoshi. Home, thank you so much for the seven months. Low, no narcs, please. Narcs? Is there someone named Narcs in chat? We need pause champ? What's pause champ? I have not seen this emote. Oh, snitch. Narcs means snitches? I've never heard. Oh. I won't snitch. But it looks like I was right. Yeah, the only mutual I can think of between you and I are is Ludwig QT Cinderella. <laughs> oh, I know you... I think you're friends with Invader V? I like watch her sometimes. But I don't think she knows who I am. I, that was that was my other guess, but I don't I'm pretty sure Invader V doesn't know me. So I decided against that. Alright, so this is delete and something. How do I read? Oh, this is okay. This is delete. Um, let us replace the escape key. Vi is awesome, I love her. Yeah, she's so um, eloquent. Like the way she speaks. I didn't realize Ludwig spoke about me all the time so much. I literally had no idea who he was until you guys both raided me that one night. <laughs> He's a pretty funny guy. Baja Patty, thank you so much for the 200 bits. All right. This is the board. It looks pretty stealth. You guys like this. Mine just kind of looks like white on black on stream. Uh, do I have a filter on? Let me see. I might have a filter on this. Let's see. I do. So that's without the filter. Does it change the color at all? Yeah, it makes it less blue. Oh god, your face? <laughs> Come on, Kuroi. Oh, this has an LED here. I didn't even notice that. And does this have... Wait, what? This does not support underglow, but... There's RGB coming from the escape. Interesting. I've never seen an LED pattern like this. <laughs> Is this case a fingerprint magnet? Um, this particular case, yes. It's got a pretty matte and velvety finish to it. If you're oily, this will definitely pick up fingerprints pretty well. I actually like a centered USB outlet a ton. I think centered USB is the way to go. Centered USB looks very nice. 
You know, this doesn't look... Once the badge is turned black, it's less visible. I think it's more bearable. I personally don't like his badge. But with the black, it kind of melts in a little bit. Okay, you guys like this. All right, let's take a screenshot for YouTube. Say hello to YouTube chat. Three, two, one. Boom, screenshot done. All right, um, let's weigh this. So this keyboard won't weigh all that much. It's got a polycarb plate as well as case. What's chat's guesses for this? Don't fat shame it. Is it am I really fat shaming though? I'm more like skinny shaming it. Alright, fully built. This keyboard weighs two pounds, four point, well, what? Five, hello, scale? Oh, my desk mat was pushing down on it. Two pounds, 3.1 ounces, or 994 grams. Kylo Ren board? Ooh, yeah, kind of, with the red uh, underglow. This kind of have a uh, Kylo Ren theme going on. Will you ever do an, an analyzing and reviewing viewer keyboard stream? Clockwork says. Yeah, definitely open to that kind of stuff. But the issue with that is there's only so much I can analyze and talk about through pictures and videos. Like, you could build a keyboard that looks amazing um, on pictures, but it could feel like absolute trash when you actually touch it. All right, let's see what this sounds like. Can we get the uh, 10 Fast Fingers bot starter mods? the music, point the mic down. Oh wait, I thought I put it on there. Can you turn off the LEDs? You could. I don't know what it's, I don't know the command to uh, turn it off with the default layout, so that's why. But you can definitely uh, program it to turn it on and off. Probably have effects as well. What time is it? It's 5.20? The command is Fn plus W. Oh. Now it's breathing. Still breathing. Ooh. Let's do that. All right. This keyboard is built with Cherry MX Browns, lubed with MCG 129. Uh, 4.5 millimeter integrated plate. Let's see. If you don't get 151, I'm banning a hundred random people. <laughs> okay, I gotta break 151. Oh, wait, caps lock. What do we do?
148. Three off by 151. Damn, no one guessed one. 148 is pretty good. I haven't gotten that high in a while. All right, Kuroi is going to Thanos snap 100 people. Sorry, chat. All right, but MX Browns makes me type fast to confirm. All right, so these, this is what the mods sound like. It's not rattle. Something's wrong with the space bar though. It might be just the acoustics. How was the plate cut? Does this have a cutout underneath? No, there's no cutout. Maybe it's just bad. <laughs> Maybe this is just what you get with integrated plate. You know, for browns though, I think everything minus the spacebar sounds pretty good. It's not a bad sounding board, I would say. The Cherry MX Brown, this has a good amount of fuck to it. Yeah, and the space bar, when you type at normal speeds, if you're just not spamming, it sounds not that bad. All right. I break 150 with browns. Ah, good reason. If you can hit that shit, you buy your no. Poke Power Turtle, thank you so much for 300 bits. <laughs> 150? Oh man, can I break 150? I haven't broken 150. In s I've only done it once on stream. Have entered. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was that was such a good start. All right, gotta roll up my sleeves. I gotta go. I'll see you later, Mr. Corey. Have a good one.
can't do 150. Yo, Browns are nice though. Blue Cherry MX Browns? Woo! Feels so good. This, I think the whole bottom row in general sounds pretty bad. Like these, uh, these keys also don't sound good. That's a big difference in pitch. Throw it in the trash. All right. Oops. Oh my gosh, wrong thing. Do you guys, this chat. How does GMK9s compare to the, uh, the combo Soran came up with? Budget GMK Apollo? GMK nines. Vote yes for budget Apollo. No for GMK nines. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Taco Lol. Thank you so much for the seven months. Don't let Soran win. Barring, oh, Soran won. All right, looks like budget GMK Apollo wins. This is a good set. Someone should just run it. Maybe I'll run it. Call it Budget Apollo, but it's made up of two of the most in-demand sets. For you, not for me. I got them both for retail. And they are the leftovers of me using it on a different set. It's pretty good. Pretty good value for me, if you tell me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um... All right, this is the build for today. Is it time for some CSGO? Nathan is out of touch, what do you mean? Do you find it unnecessary to line your keyboards with foam? Well, this isn't a personal board. Um, sometimes I will line keyboards with foam, yes, but not all the time. Do I like the board? Uh, I think I like the E6.5 over this. I don't have the E6.5, let me pull it up. It's on my Instagram. Oh, that's so small, what the? Oh, it's on my Imager. Let me go to my Imager. Uh, so this is the Think 6.5 top. Oh, this is the E 6.5 top. Obviously different colors, schemes. Um, but I think personally the E, this look is more to my taste. It's cleaner, I think. Uh, bottom wise, this is the bottom of the Think 6.5. Oh, I didn't take a picture of the bottom. Well, personally, I don't like the bottom for either boards. <laughs> I thought the 
the, the E6.5 bottom also looked pretty ass. This one, really not my style, but yeah. I think overall I still prefer the sound, typing feel, um, acoustics, I already said sound, what am I saying? And the uh, aesthetics of the E6.5 over the Think 6.5. All right, let me start up CSGO. Nathan uses the, yes, there is a command. That picture one looks way better. Yeah, I, I built this up not too long ago on my stream. Ah, Steam Guard, what's my Steam Guard? <laughs> is it time for content? Yo, Maz, if you're down, can play. <coughs> My man, Mark, welcome back for 11 months. Does this board even reach five pounds? No, this board built was two pounds, 5.1 ounces. I would play, but lecture in six hours. Oh, feels bad. Cozy Fanatuti, welcome back for nine months. Hello, I feel like I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah. 